If you are watching my video right now or listening to my audio and you're living to see the golden era, you're good, somebody, you're good up. Your life is well. Anything one not honest, ask yourself, why are you so focused on someone outside of yourself? I don't care if this friend is your, I don't care if it's a friend. I don't care if it's a family member. I don't care how close you think you may be with a certain individual. Welcome to the first episode of Kalon Talks, the podcast, okay? I'm really excited to have you all here. I'm so excited. Let's see where this goes. I'm really appreciative of all of you who have subscribed already and waiting until I've figured out my stuff out and i've just decided to go for it um i've been contemplating on what to do on my platform and i was like why not just you know start a podcast so happy 2024 guys happy 2024 it's been amazing so far i hope you have understood the assignment and understand that girl you can make as much plans as you want talking about new year new me but if you have the same old habits hey ain't nothing gonna change right but before we get into all of that let's start off our first segment which is we're gonna do some icebreakers first um I really wanted to have like sound effects, so I'm just gonna bear in mind I'm just gonna do sound effects with my voice. Animated, I'm very spontaneous. Sometimes I'm soft spoken, sometimes I'm loud. Oh my gosh, my bad. Let me introduce myself. I am Kalon. Okay, you can find me on all platforms at Kalon Black <laughs> Black Kalon Bison. Um, I'm Jamaican. I have a daughter. I love to cook um, and I love talking, you know, I love giving advice. I love making people feel their feels. I'm a cancer. If you didn't know, now you know. And the mission of this podcast is to, one, I have a lot of ideas in my head and a lot of thought provoking that I feel like I could share with the community and we can build together and understand because I realize in life it's more about building together than moving through this journey by yourself you will get further if you work with people so that's my main goal for this podcast is to build a community I really enjoy teamwork um, I really enjoy hearing other people's viewpoints and all of that good stuff but we'll get into more of knowing about me, talking about me, talking about you guys um, eventually down the road. You know what I'm saying? So let's get to the first segment of this podcast, which is I decided that the first I break for this episode would be conspiracy theories. Now, I have a few conspiracy theories that I feel like do exist and, and are real. Don't hate me. It's more of an um, unpopular opinion. I really think that aliens are real. I know it sounds crazy, but if you think about it, it's organisms like amoebas. Amoebas are aliens. And I feel like if there can be a life form in such a small, like teensy tiny bit of like atoms why can't there be bigger beings than us on earth you know what i say oh yeah did i tell y'all i was jamaican yeah i'm jamaican <laughs> and have we seen the cat williams interview let's just put a snippet if i put a snippet in here we're gonna put a snippet in here on the video so if you're listening to this audio wise i'm gonna put a snippet in if there's one thing you can take away from me as a person, whether you like me or you don't, 
If you take this from me, you will be a better person. If you decide today that you're going to live every day like it's your last for real, which means have a conversation with yourself every night that, okay, that was it. May not be no more after that. And really count yourself every day like this could have been it. All right. Before I go to bed, this could be it. All right. How's that looking? If you can do that, it'll change your life. And what he's talking about is living today as it's your last day. He talks about a whole lot. In top about a whole bag of something. In top about life. In top about craziness. In top about all of the people that want to talk rubbish about him and stuff. But the main point that Cat Williams said and really resonated with me was the fact that if you got up, today and lived it like you knew you were gonna die by sunset or by the end of this 24 hours how would you live your life and i swear to god it just it just light up on my head in my heart and i'm a soul for really like think about what i want to do in my life and i said to myself say me really want my grandchildren them to know who me be I really want my family to leave a legacy. I really want to build a community, build a brand, build awareness, build all these things. And with people who, oh, I'm so sorry. That is atrocious. Muted. That's what I want to do. And it was really thought provoking. I think Cat Williams is a genius. I think he is a very smart man um think about it what you will but i believe that sometimes when people pass messages you can't shoot the messenger you can't shoot the messenger and you can't um buy the message no matter how abrupt or rough the message is coming sometimes you need the message in such a in a way that you have to listen because sometimes if the message comes really light and soft spoken you won't get it you know you won't get the message as clear as you think you you won't receive the message as much as you want to if it was in a certain way um a lot of people have missed the point of what he was saying around the contra controversy of him talking about other comedians but in the midst of that, he dropped a lot of gems, not only talking about that, but talking about he's been a millionaire. He's had money multiple times. You know what I'm saying so I commend him and his thought provoking statement re really led me to do this podcast and really give me the nudge to really get going. And the topic that he brought on today or inspired was that 2024, I don't know, play world. It's an honest year, okay? 2024 is not a game, okay? I don't know if you know this, but Kali Yuga just ended. It ended on the 15th of January. If you don't know what the Kali Yuga is, I suggest you go and Google it. I suggest you go look it up. So let me give you a little reference. The Kali Yuga has been going on for over 5,000 years. And if you go to somebody, then watch my video. If you are watching my video right now or listening to my audio and you're living to see the golden era, you are good somebody, you're good up. Your life is well. Anything one honest and true and on the path to success is the golden era era now we're in the golden era yeah so if you did a feel the little vibes but if you are resonate are you resonate upon some negative energy and some shadow work and what need to get done if you're resonated on some low energy you go to feel it in a really harsh way because the universe i try to tell us say you need to learn say you need to let go you got to let it go. I'm reading this book, The Four Agreements, almost done. It's not that long, but um, 
the first agreement is word. The second agreement is don't take things personally. And the third one is don't make assumptions. And I think the fourth one is do your best all the time. Always do your best. And the fourth one was always do your best because everything else will align. And also, if you don't know, the new year celebrated in Vedic astrology is in April, in springtime. And going into the spring equinox, when things are born, born in you, bring in you. But I do acknowledge the January new year because it is a period where it's time for reflection and introspection and time for us to understand, okay, it's like a gameplay re reenactment to see how could I have gone out of not even gone out of my way, how could I have addressed this situation better and moved on better? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the Kali Yuga just ended. It's been a great, great I'm trying to be sarcastic, but it's not funny. The amount of word and people are trying to push. You know, I'm glad I even forgot that the Kali Yuga stage was going to end on God because I was just like, I've had vivid dreams of war. War is not nice. War is not nice. War is horrible. And the war, what am I trying to push? And you see, the day after the Kali Yuga, not Trump that win Iowa. Now, say what you want about Trump. I'm not even going to want to touch politics, you know. But it's to show you that the truth speakers, the people who they can't do nothing but speak their truth are coming out. Sexy Red. Uh, P. Diddy's case. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm just talking about in pop culture. If you want to talk about the, the spiritual world, there are many people who are coming out to speak, talking about P. Diddy's um, um on a live wife is speaking to people there's a lot of people coming through the threshold talking to people revealing truths so it's just like i believe like 2024 you can't hide your ugly and i feel like we should embrace our ugly all of our ugly we need to embrace all of that stuff we need to embrace all the ugly that we feel like people don't want to see i feel like if we do that more, nobody can really like come and tell with ourself. Nobody can come and tell with ourself and say, oh, she do this or he do this or yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know that by yourself. You know myself? You've already said, yeah, I got big ass feet. Yeah, um, I'm tall as hell. Yeah, what else? Once you get over all of the uglies that you've been trying to suppress, all these years you will reach a different threshold for this new year and we're going to do it together we are going to do it together you are going to step your foot in the uglies in the yucky parts of yourself and you're going to grab them and you're going to make them yours you're going to make them your bitch you're going to say this is mine i own it i'm not going nowhere it's a part of me I did it in the past, but that's not me now. And that's what we're going to focus on. We aren't going to allow people to make us feel inferior. We are superior, respectfully to each other. And I say that to say because me personally, I've been in a state where it's just like, I too have wondered like, am I good enough to gain certain things? Did I receive enough? affirmation and declarations from my parents and it just like all of these things that I said that I was neglected or I didn't get made me feel as if I was insignificant to receive success and receive the great things that I want in my life and I was saying to myself that is preposterous Vanessa you cannot deal with life this way you know, you cannot sit down and um, hold on to all of life's problems and harshness. And that's another thing, too. Um, going on the Internet and being all up on the Internet and 
receiving all these downloads so fast, um, just receiving them so fast, it can really mess your mind up. Like you are taking all of this information, not good for you, and you just did it. They think, well, oh, yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna care what nobody wants to say. You have to be selfish before you can care about anybody else. You have to be selfish for you to be. You gotta be selfish and selfful before you can give to anybody else. So for people to sit there and question why you are not putting all out for them, I'm gonna give you the answer to this if you're one of those persons who question that. You should ask yourself, why are you so focused on someone outside of yourself? I don't care if this friend is your, I don't care if it's a friend, I don't care if it's a family member, I don't care how close you think you may be with a certain individual. You should not put nobody come close. You should not put anybody in front of you. Nobody. Yeah. You need to learn boundaries. You need to learn that there is a difference between, okay, I am depleted. I have nothing to give you at this point. I don't have it. You've got to be honest with yourself. You cannot give from where you do not have. Okay? It's just not. It's just not possible. It's not a thing. It's not. And I believe that people need to understand that these situations in life happen. Yes, to teach you. Okay, cool. I'm learning. I'm doing all these things. But sometimes you just got to take a break. And just move on from whatever is trying to hold you back. You know what I'm saying? So, um, to conclude this episode, because I don't want this first episode to be long. I really want it to be short and cute. I'm still figuring out how I want to structure it. But that's the message that's weighing on my heart. The pointers that I had, Lord have mercy. I wanted it to be very casual. Um just a little sweet introduction and a little bit of advice for all of you all of you who think that you can't do it just start just go just make the effort just show up if you don't know what to wear wear black if you don't know how to do your hair put it in a ponytail or wear a hat it's not that deep okay as someone who does have anxiety which I'm learning that I do have now, <laughs> it's because you're suppressing your true self and you've never been in a space where you felt comfortable expressing your voice. And this platform will allow me to do that. And I'm so grateful. Again, I will say I'm so grateful for the people who interact on these videos and watch my video. I'm so, 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 so grateful. But yeah, if you have watched that Cat Williams video, Please go and watch it. That man has touched his... He is already in his golden area. You see how quick he touched that before the Kali Yuga even finished? Well, that's all I'm going to say. This year is an honest year. Do not hide your true self. Be authentic and strive to do your best in everything. Thank you so much. And I'll see y'all in episode two.